In the pantheon of African revolutionaries, Thomas Sankara stands as a titan, a man who dared to dream of a self-sufficient Burkina Faso and paid the ultimate price for it. His life is a testament to the transformative power of visionary leadership and the tragic cost of idealism in a world riddled with greed and power struggles. Thomas Sankara was born on December 21, 1949, in the northern town of Yako, Upper Volta, now known as Burkina Faso. He was a son of the soil, born to a humble family, yet destined for greatness. His journey began as a young military officer, a path that would lead him to the highest office in the land. In 1970, Sankara was sent for officer training in Madagascar, where he witnessed a popular uprising that overthrew the government. This experience left a profound impact on him, fueling his aspirations for a similar revolutionary change in his homeland. He returned home with a renewed spirit, ready to challenge the status quo. In 1983, Sankara was appointed prime minister by the then president, but his tenure was brief. His radical policies and outspoken nature didn't sit well with the conservative elements in the government. He was arrested only to be released in a coup led by his close friend, Blaise Compaora. The coup propelled Sankara to the presidency, and a new era dawned on Burkina Faso. As president, Sankara embarked on a radical transformation of the country. He championed women's rights, pushed for self-sufficiency in food and energy, promoted public health, and fought against corruption. His policies were revolutionary, earning him the moniker, the African Che Guevara. Sankara also changed the country's name from the colonial Upper Volta to Burkina Faso, meaning the land of upright people. He shunned foreign aid, arguing that it was a new form of colonialism, and instead focused on mobilizing the country's resources. His leadership saw a decrease in infant mortality rates, an increase in literacy rates, and massive infrastructure development. However, Sankara's radical reforms and his brash style of leadership ruffled feathers both at home and abroad. His uncompromising stance against corruption and imperialism made him enemies, and his disregard for traditional power structures isolated him politically. On October 15, 1987, Thomas Sankara was assassinated in a coup led by his close friend and ally, Blaise Compaore. His death marked the end of one of Africa's most ambitious experiments in social and economic transformation. In summary, Thomas Sankara was a visionary and a revolutionary. His life was marked by a relentless pursuit of social justice and self-sufficiency for Burkina Faso. His achievements, while significant, were overshadowed by his assassination, a tragic consequence of his radical approach to leadership and reform. His legacy, however, continues to inspire millions around the world, reminding us of the power of vision and the cost of idealism.